Oh, that's rough. What's going on guys? It's your boy Failwell. Today we're checking out Stargate Atlantis. This one is season number nine, episode... Oh. Last time we tried to convert the Wraith into a human. Now the Wraith know where the humans are. Smack the like button and let's see what's popping over at the base today. Okay. It's a cool looking facility. Nice shot of the gate. Impressive. The austerity of the facility suggested it was built during the height of war. It is well beyond our science. He had years to figure out all things ancient, and he still doesn't completely understand. I have a very firm grasp of ancient technology. You've blown up entire planets, Rodney. I wasn't On accident. Fault. Chancellor Lycus. Welcome to Terranus. Thank you. And thank you for finally answering our calls for assistance. Sorry about that. Uh, we like to keep a low profile. <laughs> so as not to attract the attention of the Wraith. I see. Our shield generator has been giving us trouble for some time now. Our mm. knowledge of the technology is limited. I'm sure we can fix whatever needs fixing. And by we, he means me. So, shall we get started? I'm sure I could learn a lot from you, Doctor. Oh. <laughs> you notice the color of her hair? In the <laughs> meantime, for us. All right, let's see if we can get a W here. Whew, my ears just popped. We are deep underground. Oh. That's not good. What was that? Uh, just a tremor. Nothing to be concerned with. Uh, please, this way. We've experienced several such tremors in recent days. I'm concerned they may have something to do with our generator problems. Well, you say your generator is powered by geothermal energy. This is the main hangar. Hangar? For what? Mere description would be inadequate. All right, this is sounding pretty big. Let's see it. Some sort of big discovery. I see what you mean. Okay. I'm not mad at a new ship. This looks a lot like maybe. Oh no, look how far they are. Oh, that's pretty big. I'm trying to gauge the range. I'm like, is it more of a Prometheus? You know? Inferno. It's an Aurora class warship. Obviously, the ancients built more than one of them. It's damaged. Offline? Probably from the War oh. of the Wraith. Beyond repair? I don't know. They're scientists, or at least the folks who call themselves scientists have been working on it for years. First, I want them to fix the uh, shield generator, build some goodwill with these people. Good idea. Hopefully, Good call. we can establish an alliance with them. Uh, I'm going to get back there now, uh, make sure he's not distracted. So. Distracted? McKay is acting very... Uh, Strange. Smitten. I was going to say pathetic. Wait, I should head back with you. A uh, shield. This is like a cool shot of the game, require man. a zero point module to power it. I managed to override the alarms and make some adjustments. But then other lights began blinking and I was unable to understand what they meant. Shortly after that is when the tremors started. I told you this might take some time. Uh, Elizabeth wanted to talk to the Chancellor. See if we can establish relations with these good people. Not like this shot. That would be wonderful. It's uh... <laughs> You've been running the shield continuously for over a year now. Yes, when the device was His activated, face. Chancellor Lycos ordered me to increase the strength of the shield. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Why? Shields are for emergencies only, Norina. When you shut down the alarms, you overrode the fail-safes, and that means that we're... Huh? The ancients chose to power this facility on geothermal energy is because we're sitting I'm right bomb. smack in the caldera of a dormant supervolcano. Drawing all of this energy from the magma Causing chamber the has tremors. been extremely active. That shit's about to so, blow. Seeking to establish relations with civilizations throughout the galaxy. As are we. As you discovered, we have an extensive knowledge of ancient technology. And we have an ancient warship. Cutting right to it. You got me. Yes. We do not know all of its wonders, but I can only assume it possesses the capability for great destruction. Why would I hand over that capability to you? It's a great question. We have a problem. What kind of problem? When you think of regular volcanoes, you think Mount St. Helens or uh, Kilauea. And super volcano? Yellowstone National Park. Thousands, oftentimes hundreds of thousands of years go by between blasts. So the ancients thought, what the hell? Plenty of energy down there to run a shield? Yeah, but not continuously. The damage is already done. Look, a significant hotspot rift has opened. 
Pressure will keep building as magma continues pouring in directly beneath us. Uh, maybe we can fire a drone down into the crust on the other side of the caldera. Every problem has a military solution in your world, doesn't it? Look, when this baby goes, the whole thing We don't thing have to goes. shoot shots like that right now, exactly. Ronnie. When this thing erupts, the force of the explosion will be over 10,000 times greater than the blast that destroyed Mount St. Helens. The dust cloud will envelop the planet within weeks, blocking out enough sunlight. We are talking about an extinction-level event. Yeah. So the well, only option you've got... Excuse me. Watch them carefully. They're doing oh, it just sorry. to get our My ship. Volume turned right down. Dr. McKay is the finest scientist we have. I trust his advice without reservation. And I don't know you. I'm just finding it curious that you advise us to leave this planet shortly after you discover that we possess an ancient warship. I mean, this is, I mean, surely they could, uh, oh, it's going. They can, uh, they can is take, uh, right? some, throw some drones and yeah, see that that's exactly what's happening. Reports right? of the wounded are coming in from the settlement. The last turn opened a hydrothermal vent in the base. The ground is eroding beneath us. You need to get your people off this planet now. Alert the settlement. Tell our people to gather only Good. their most precious possessions and come here as quickly as possible. Nice. I thought this was going to be like that one SG episode there, uh, the one right before Daniel ascended. Uh... Oh, good. And Jack kept telling him, like, oh, like, leave, leave, the but they wouldn't. They held it down. Where are the windows? Gate's dialed. You're good to go. I've also locked it in. I think OG gate I prefer, but big P DHDs cleaner. The gate has fallen. The gate has fallen. Oh, see ya! Amanda, this is McKay! Raise the shield! I repeat, raise the shield! The Stargate. It's gone. What happens to, uh... I guess it just sings. This is bad news bears, dog. Holy smokes. Could you imagine? You just see molten lava just pouring through. Oh, that'd be that would be that would be the most gruesome way to go out on the show for sure. Kay gave the order just before we lost contact. What is happening? I don't know. Something must have terminated the connection from their end. Dial them back. No, sir. Nothing to dial. Can't establish a wormhole. Something's happened to their stargate. There's nothing wrong with our gate. Dial it again. You orchestrated this, didn't you? What? You lured me here to hold the me disrespect. hostage in exchange for our warship. I assure you, Chancellor, that is not what's happening here. The Stargate was swallowed up by the magma. We are so screwed. You mean we're stuck here? If we have no way of contacting Atlantis... Oh, we are totally screwed. Will you just take it easy? We're inside a soon-to-be erupting volcano! Elizabeth will try to dial us back. When she can't get through... <laughs> oh my god, Roddy's going crazy. Deadless. Yep, right. logic. That's good. Uh... What if the volcano erupts before then? There's that, yeah. The ship in the hangar. Maybe McKay can fix it. Oh, maybe I can fix it. Place the pressure squarely on my shoulders for a change. Yeah, it's been a rough, you know, month for him. <clears throat> or so. Life support should be back up and running in a few minutes. Good, that's good. And I have uh, discovered the ship's name. What we got? Hippopharalchus. Hippopharalchus. Yeah, well, it appears to have been named after an ancient general. Go with them. We name it later. Fine. Whatever its name, this ship is large enough to fit many people. Colonel Shepard, Daedalus. They came quick. Never mind. They're having trouble breaking through. We're gonna have to boost it. All right, try now. Yes, sir. We're here. Where are you? We just arrived in orbit above Terranus. Where are you? Oh, beautiful. I hear you can use some assistance. Well, the Stargate on this planet's been swallowed by lava, and we're in a volcano that can erupt any second. So yeah, yeah, we could use a little help. Goes out into the open where we yeah, on paper that's pretty bad. We're gonna need Daedalus to evac them back to Atlantis. From the number of people that we're detecting, that's at least four trips. That's a good point. We have time for that? There's no way to know for sure. I mean, it'll be close. Well, the tremors have stopped. For the moment. Taylor this is pretty bad. Join them, organize people into groups that can be beamed aboard. In the meantime, McKay and I are gonna stay here and continue our work on Plan B. No. No, 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 we need to get out of here. And plan B is what? 
We found a sister ship to the Aurora. Called the Orion. Oh. Orion really? slaps. A ship that large, you should be able to get everyone else out in one trip. Yeah, well, whether or not we live or die is all up to Rodney. This is so unfair. Everyone has seen and felt the first signs of the impending eruption. And despite our best efforts to keep them calm, some are beginning to panic. Twelve hours to travel to Atlantis and back. Twelve hours in the hope that's enough time to make four trips. First wave of refugees are on board. We're headed back to Atlantis. Thank you, Colonel. We'll be ready to receive them. We're out. We've also definitely seen this dude before. Once my people have been evacuated to this city, what happens to us then? You're welcome to stay here with us. And if... What is happening on my planet is a false alarm. I doubt that's the case. To where? The long range scanner. A hive ship. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Three weeks, perhaps. Okay, three weeks is enough time. Just the one? This show just loves stacking on the pressure. I have already learned so much from you just in the last few hours. Perhaps one day I could study under you. Uh, yes. Well, well, I really, um, first we need to get off the planet, and then you can be under me. <laughs> oh. Okay, that was a big one. That was, that was a lot stronger than the, uh... You all right? I'm fine. What is it? It's just ash beginning to fall. Is that a sign that the volcano will soon erupt? When she goes, we'll know. And who decided that? We all did. Everyone's voice was heard. What is wrong? But you and your people will be able to leave in the third. Mm -hmm. That won't be necessary. We're staying. What? A day's walk from here, there is a river. Wide, calm. Yo, not from this. From any lava flow. Listen to me. There's Ugh. a cloud of ash spreading across the sky. If that doesn't choke you're not going to make it. You're surely dying the explosion. Like I get the hesitancy to leave your whole planet, but I mean, if I see that, I'm out of there. The you kidding me? Up many more fishers. <laughs> we have a problem. It's right. literally the end of the world. Looks like there's a lot of new vents opening up, a lot of ash going into the air, heading toward the settlement. We don't have time to wait for the Daedalus. Not even close. Well, then, I guess we're all gonna die. Oh, you're doing that on purpose. What? <laughs> you're creating an impossible task that we need to bring everyone to the settlement back to the base. Once at the base, we'll board another ship called the Orion. Now, it's a lovely ship with lots of room for Why? Us. We may not have time to wait for our ship to return, so we would like everyone to proceed down the tunnel that leads back to the base. The engines are not currently in working condition, but our people are confident they'll have them fixed before the volcano erupts. This is why we should not have waited. And go where? To the river. Have you looked outside, big man? Yeah, oh, shit. That cloud stretches for bloody miles. You Say with your chest out, yep. Yeah. Maybe. No. At least in here we stand a chance of survival. Out there, it is suicide. At the end of the day, it's their choice. Off they go. That is rough. Do you know which of these stars is Terranus? I'm sorry, I don't. Your people have been putting their lives in jeopardy to save my people, and I have rewarded that kindness with doubt. I apologize. That's not necessary. I understand how you must feel. We'll save as many as we can. Mm -hmm. I believe you will. We're Taylor Ronan. Still back at the village, gather the rest of the people, then they'll be on their way. Good. Get these people to the ship. All right, come on, move it. Let's I go. hope they show the shot Take of the, uh, the planet going through. Shepard. What? I just got the atmospheric sensors online. I'm reading dangerously high levels of sulfur dioxide spewing into the air from dozens of fumaroles. Taylor Ronan. <coughs> Yes, Colonel. We got toxic gas venting into the atmosphere. <coughs> Ronan has found one remaining family at the edge of the village. He is returning and then we will go. <coughs> it's getting pretty tense, but then we just trampled each other. Yet. What, what did he realize? What? Rodney? Two large fissures just opened up near the base. One of the lava flows just covered the hangar directly above us. We're talking over 30 feet thick. Even if I can get the engines fixed, there is no way to fly this ship out of here. We're stuck. That's not good. Colonel Maybe Shepherd, the ship's got some shields. Up, please respond. <coughs> Colonel, if you hear me, now Taylor's gonna get knocked. Respond. Ronan. MVP. Did everyone else get through? Yes. Ronan, the tunnel is blocked. I was just there, collapsed during the last tremor. So we're stuck. Yeah, what a 
yourself. <laughs> we'll see if they go for the ship. I'm here for it. I like them. Time for a military Good pair. solution. The hangar door is directly above us. The molten lava would destroy the ship. Not if I can get the shields operational. Yep, everybody in the do that. everybody in the boat. Get it going. Go talk amongst yourselves. What are you doing? I have an idea. Well, what kind of idea? Talk busy. Not now, please. I hate it when he does this. What are we gonna do? There's no place to go. I'm not good at sitting around waiting to die. Taylor Ronan. Taylor Ronan, please respond. Don't leave without us. Down to the wire. Let's go. You're still alive. Of the we owe you a debt of gratitude, Colonel. And frankly, yours were the only life signs that we could detect on the planet. What happened to the others? They took the rest of the people back to the base. We got cut off from them. Well, that's brilliant. The base is shielded. I can't beam them out of there. Hermiot says the volcano is about to erupt. We should know for sure by then. Be advised, we have detected a hive ship. Poor time to drop that one? bomb. So we can stop it. The door's probably high. You won't touch it. Let's try this way. Oh. Running to the last group of villagers and I'm trying to get them back to the ship. Looks like the base is going to emergency lockdown. We got doors sealing off everywhere. No. Oh. 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 Rodney. Rodney. Do you copy? This is getting pretty bad. We should try to land. The planet's surface is far too unstable to attempt any landing. Yeah, it's so too late. Is the option to sit here and wait? Essentially. We could leave. Well, that's not an option we're considering. I know they are your mans, but objectively, so they are bodied. The Tarani people are all on board except for the last group that Colonel Shepard was escorting. Tail and Ronan? We've lost contact with them as well. They don't know. Just about ready. Ready for what? Oh, thank God. What took you so long? You see the blast from the eruption will wipe out half the continent. It will, and after 4.1 seconds of those extreme temperatures and pressures, our shields will be depleted. It's not very much time for anything, Rodney. There's plenty of time to open a hyperspace window. <laughs> That's but, a plan, huh? That's my plan. Didn't I tell you about that? No, you no, didn't. No, you didn't. But God, I devised a, big a sort of play. a patch that, in effect, diverts auxiliary power to the hyperdrive. Only enough for a fraction of a second, mind you. That won't get us very far. We don't need to go far. Just Any out of the planet, do. yeah. And then what? Well, then Narita and I were planning a small dinner for us all. Nothing fancy. Not me. Oh, what does he mean? Then what? Then we won't die horribly? So we'll figure it out then, yeah. Not the moment we're clear, we open a brief hyperspace window, jump to space before the explosion depletes our shields and incinerates us. Hmm? Okay. Fuck it. We ball. That's very clever, Rodney. Huh. Well, don't take me till it works. No! What? Oh, bam my fingernail back. I hate that. Hyperdrive's ready. Inertial dampers engaged. Shields are up. All good to go. All good to go. 40 seconds. All right, let's get it. All right, folks. Chairs and seat backs into your upright and locked positions. All right, there's no room for air. Look at that. Five. That's a wicked shot. Also, that view. You. you really are a genius. Rodney? He's like, yo, that actually worked? <laughs> the uh, ash cloud has encircled the entire planet. Will the Tehranian people ever be able to go home? Not Absolutely for many years, not. I'm afraid. Yeah, no. I'll take a repair team back to the Orion and get the engines fixed. I thought you told Narina you couldn't fix it. It was never a question of whether or not I could fix it. I assume there's still a hive ship on the way? Yes. Why only one ship? We don't know. Well, at least we've got the Orion now, and the city's supply of drones has been replenished. It's enough to put up a hell of a fight. Yep. Let's not fool ourselves. I'm sorry, but it's not going to be enough.
Yeah, that's the one thing about the show that I like about the Wraith. That's all we've got. There's always like a looming threat, you know? It's like a tick, a timer that's going on. It's not about when they'll come. It's not about if they'll come, it's about, it's more like when. And that was my reaction video to Stargate Atlantis season number two, episode number 19. This one was titled Inferno and we were at the heart of, uh, of, uh, of, a, of a very fire episode, quite literally. I thought this was a solid episode of the show. The utmost urgency, obviously, you know, they're sort of in the middle of, they're in the, like, they're in the ring of fire. Stargate has fallen, which has put the pressure on right away. You know, while this might be a storyline that we have seen similarly in SG before, or, um, you know, maybe one or two points, I, I enjoyed the twist of it um, here, where instead of it just being like a warship, whatever, it was a, cat a cataclysmic, cataclysmic event, like a volcano erupting. Also, I think the buildup of having a lot of the shots in between uh, just slowly getting more severe also lent into that, which is great. Overall, I thought this is a pretty fun episode as well, right? We got to see uh, Rodney, you know, uh, you know, acting like a goof, trying to save the day while there's this just beautiful woman there. And then we also had one of the biggest things out of this episode was uh, the Orion, a new warship is in our Rolodex, which is exciting. So I'm sure we're going to probably retrofit that and use it against the, un the 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 looming wraith threat so we've got one wraith uh, hive we got one hive ship coming we've got the daedalus we've got this new orion we may be able to fend them off we'll see they might just like leave it as another looming threat for season three but this episode i actually thought was pretty fun i thought the urgency was there i thought it was action-packed it was fun and i enjoyed some of the tension the context of them like trying to just get everybody to leave uh and you can understand why they assume that they're just trying to finesse them for their gate uh for finesse them for their warship when that wasn't the case obviously instead show that they're good people and trying to save them and help them as best as possible but guys that was sga for this week guys what did you think about this one i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below this was like one of the few times where it was gonna have to happen just because of the time constraints and it's either they literally died or they don't right so it was gonna happen but i, I liked his delivery to that sequence you could tell that he didn't seem all that confident even his reaction the fact that they they, they made it by a split second anyway with that being said y'all i'll see you all in the next one love y'all peace